Well, what is up guys, it's Tyler once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking Kingdom. In this video, I want to talk about mileage points and where you should be spending your mileage points and what I would recommend as a newer player and as a older player where you guys should be using those precious mileage points. Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking Kingdom videos I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're gonna first talk about uh, as a older player just like how I am I actually if you guys look at it there is nothing that I can buy and the reason why is because I actually max out every single cookie this is something that's definitely not normal for all players just know that this is for all the whales out there and yes I will consider myself a whale now or has been a whale so I'm gonna say this is go only gonna be the case for those people who spend ton of money in this game and uh, there is absolutely no reason for you to max out all your cookies in this game. There should only be certain cookies that you use in this game that you should max out and invest in. Because like I said in many of my videos, EXP jellies are very, very, very hard to get. And because of that, you don't want to be investing in every single cookie that you get or every single new cookie that you get because you will run out and you won't be able to max them out all the way up to 50 or even 60. Uh, and you won't have the powders, uh, skill powders that you can upgrade their skills with. So, uh, I will have to say, when you are a older player, obviously you're gonna have some soul stones left to buy, but the most important thing is going to be treasure tickets, okay? So, a treasure ticket, if you look at it, you can't see it right now, but let me just do this real quick. So, it takes about 1,000, 1,000 crystals in order for you to draw a 5 treasure. Okay, in order to draw five treasures, it takes 3,000 for you to do one temple for a cookie banner, right? Is it worth pulling 15 treasures using 3,000 crystals when you can be getting something like this? You're going to be getting something like this 15 times. Is that going to help you out? I don't think so. I, I highly doubt that that's going to help you out. It's not going to be worth your crystal. So that's why we always, we always want to be pulling on the feature cookie banner or the regular cookie banner or whatever you want to pull on the cookie banner you use your crystals to pull on your cookie banners and then use the tr uh and then use the mileage points that are saved up in order to pull for your treasures i would definitely 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 not recommend uh pulling using your crystals okay so let me just show you real quick i'm just gonna do a temple here and show you how much mileage points are uh, that you can possibly be getting after you max out your cookies especially your commons and your rares so here we go i'm just gonna skip it real quick so here you go you get 15 mileage points for every rare soul stones that you get for maxed out cookie you get six soul stones for every common cookie uh common cookie soul stone that you get when you do pull a actual cookie then you are going to be getting a uh, total of 120 and if you pull a rare cookie that you have maxed out and get 20 soul stone then you'll be getting 300 uh, mileage points so picks are going to be 40 mileage points and i believe for your um for your legendaries and your ancients if you do max them it's about uh 60 or 80 I, i'm not too sure i've i'm never maxed out any except for sea fairy and it's hard to see those uh soul stones so i have to say that's going to be it so then i will be racking up some more uh mileage points and then i'll be using that to get some treasures even i don't even have all my treasures maxed out only my rares and co uh, commons are maxed out all my epics are still like level 10 level 9 level 8 7 right here oh, I, gotta, I gotta upgrade this but yeah it's it's not maxed out at all so definitely have to start you know investing more into the treasure tickets and uh see how i can how much i can upgrade these guys because it's hard it's hard to get these guys like if you see the probability it's eight percent but you have so many different epics and you don't want like majority of these so it's it's hard it's hard but let me go into my older account and show you guys exactly how much mileage points you'll be getting as a newer player and where you should be investing for that account as well all right guys so this is going to be my free to play account that i've created many many uh months ago but during when pure vanilla uh came out so as you can see i have some uh a decent amount of crystals right there 36,000 because I just never use it 
and you can see that if you go here I'm gonna have some treasure tickets as well so I'm just gonna pull that real quick and as you can see you're getting about four mileage points for every pull of a uh, treasure you are doing and let me just show you if you can get mileage points through this too no you can't all right and for every cookie let's see if we do a 10 pull right here okay and let's see if it's an epic or not and it's a rare okay I don't have anything maxed out so I won't be getting any extra mileage point but I will be getting 60 mileage points for every 10 pull and if I do a just a regular pull here I will be getting a total of six mileage points so if you can tell you are getting six mileage points for every single pull you're doing on your cookie banners whether you max out a cookie or not and then if you do a pull on your treasured uh, banner you're getting four mileage points so it is not a lot as you can tell it's a, it's a very very small amount right and if you look at it you need 100 mileage points in order for you to buy one soul stone and it takes 60 for you to pull on a single treasure banner and that is one whole pull guys one whole 10 pull right there one treasure ticket equals one whole 10 pulls and that's for the players who have never you know maxed out a cookie and this is going to be about uh, two temples in order for you to buy a soul stone so this is a tip i have for all the newer players who are starting off this game i will highly suggest that you guys save up your soul stones because yes it is going to help you guys or i will save up your mileage points yes it is going to help you guys out if you really 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 need a cookie especially someone like uh you know a healer okay if you need like parfait when parfait comes out later on or if you need someone like black raisin because you don't have any aoe damage or you need espresso latte right uh and or dark choco because you're struggling or you need vampire because you missed out on the free vampire that we're passing out this month then i would suggest that yes you should go for these soul stones first and i wouldn't recommend you promote them though I would say just keep it at zero stars. Zero stars is going to be enough uh, for a majority of the gameplay. It's going to be late game that, you know, all these stars promotions are going to help you out because you're going to have a little bit of advantage over others when it comes to a stance, but it won't really affect your overall gameplay and the PVE too much. The majority of the thing that uh, affects it, like I said during the toppings guide video or how to upgrade your toppings properly, it's going to be on your toppings and as well as your treasure so if you guys look at this um, I don't even have the scroll here yet so if you look at the scroll it's 30% right it's 30% but if on my other account right my main account that is level 10 that thing gives me about 56% extra bo uh, boost and attack or something like that I'm not sure the exact number but and then for the jelly watch every time you upgrade the jelly watch you are getting 1.4% extra cooldown on your cookies and that is like you know a half of a maxed out uh swift chocolate topping for epic one so it's like you know it is it worth for you to invest in cookies and try to promote them when you or do you go use your mileage points for less for a treasure ticket and then try to get your epic treasures because pro i promise you even if you have a five star uh raspberry cookie or five star of pure uh pure vanilla five star uh vampire cookie if you have like no scroll, you have like level one uh, of your jelly watch and one uh, level one of your horn, then you're not gonna be able to beat this game. I trust me on this. You, you, your stats are going to determine, be determined through your treasures as well. Treasures play a huge part of it. I would say your your cookie plays 20% of the game, 40% is your treasures, and another 40% is like your toppings. Uh, you know, like 20% is enough to play the game. However, I highly suggest if you do want to have an easier time and for you to enjoy the game a little further, then I would suggest going with your treasure tickets first. Like I said, yes, it is possible for you to get a cookie, but I wouldn't recommend you buying more soul stones uh, than to unlock the cookies and to buy them in order to promote them so just buy the soul stones in order to unlock these cookies that you need or you really 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 want because that is why you're playing cookie and kingdom then yes go for it but i wouldn't recommend you buying more soul stones in order to up promote them because i would say treasure is going to be more important and treasure ticket is more valuable 
uh, than using your uh, hard-earned crystals for. Crystals should definitely, definitely stay with the cookie banners. All right, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it helped you guys out and showed you guys proper way or the highly recommended way of using mileage points. Yes, pr people have different views on these uh, subjects and this is just a perspective from me as a player who's been playing for a while and as a person who's been playing this game with you know spending money on this game I will highly recommend that it's not worth maxing out every single one of these cookies it is better to spend it on your treasures because I am still behind on my treasures even though I spent money on it right so I would highly recommend that you slowly and slowly slowly invest in treasures and try to max them out as much as you can as a free to play player anyways guys thanks for watching this video once again if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys will miss out on any future Cooking and Kingdom videos I upload on YouTube. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.